So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys wanted the theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Occasional for edge and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Martha here. So, um, we're gonna talk about we got three, we got um some Nickelodeon car cartoons that did come to an end that I can think of that I watched as a kid. One that I still like and don't mind watching. The other two I don't like watching anymore at all. So this one's called Danny Fan. So this one's called Danny Phantom. It was a really good show. It aired. During 2004, so it's not yet 20 years old yet, but it's still pretty close to being. So, um, April 3rd was the was um 20, 2003rd, but it doesn't say on here the last day that it aired. Oh yeah, well the show ended 2007. On the and on the on dim page. So, what I like about the show was I liked um, it was about a four-year-old boy who was half ghost and half human. They they didn't ever like specificate if he was half dead. They I think they were it was they were mostly monsters. They weren't real. They were real ghosts, but. And the villain I liked the most was um, Vlad um, Plasmius. He was the best villain in the show. Um, this one had like three different um, move, um, TV movies. All three of them were pretty good. Um, I do wish that um, Daniel, Danny with an I, would, was on the show a lot longer than only two episodes. Hers, it's, it's too bad they only they made to think of her near the end of the show. I did not like the fact that his parent that his parents weren't able to tell that Vlad was him when he was not even using a different voice at all to fool them. I mean, it really shows how dumb they are. Even Maddie, like we know that Jack's not that smart, but Maddie should be able to see through it. But I guess she just really wanted to believe in her friend. And not like not even Jazz his um sister couldn't see through it either until it was too late for her episode. And I like the fact that she was able to see learn later on about Danny before learn about Danny before um Danny and didn't get to tell about um who she was, who, he, who he was until and she was able to keep it secret out him knowing until then. So like until like the second made from uh, made from video home is when his um the second one is when we get to see his um darker we have to see Danny's darker form. So and Sam was also a pretty good character, but she just can't. A lot of times, she just turned out to be the love interest, but a lot of but she was mostly there to be like the one that's relatable. And um, Tucker was all right; he was just okay. So we see anything else. Um, Stephanie, I think, is the one that's hunted. She was a pretty good villain. She ends up helping and like, ends up being an ally somewhat sometimes. 
And I think the only like other one I liked was a was a villain was Crusher. I like I like also like Amber. Both those two were pretty good as villains too. Um, they're like the ones a few that gave like Danny um, a threat a lot. It may it is weird like this show only lasted one year of uh, one year of Danny's life so. Because he was 14 at the beginning and he was 14 at the very end. So I'll see you guys. This is it. I'll see you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe, and bye bye.